don't know if y'all can hear that. A huge whiny. That's the issue. It rings throughout the whole house. Zoom in on my, my unit here. That's my furnace. Running on natural gas, so I got my inducer motor here. You can see it, it's a Jackal J23815015217. And there's also, you know, the carrier number in there too. Um, anyways, I've been having this terrible whining sound come from the inducer motor here. I don't know if you can see it, it kind of seems like it's wobbly. I guess I'm rotating it the wrong way, but. Um, bought a rebuild kit here from, I think it's called Shorties, but comes with the replacement inducer motor, which is this, which should be a direct replacement. Let's see there, same number, speed. And then it comes with the isolators here, the three, the new fan on the inside. You can just buy this. But the cheapest I could find on Amazon was $145, and this whole kit cost me $167, I think it was like $178 with shipping, so I just went ahead with getting this because I read on a lot of, you know, comments on these that these end up rusting on, and when you try to undo the set screw, you end up bending this whole thing, and then you gotta bend it back, so I just went ahead and bought the whole replacement, so we're gonna go ahead and get to it. All right, cut my heat off. Electrical disconnected. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna disconnect the electrical here, and then I'm gonna take these three bolts out here. I'm hoping that's all I need to take out. Um, unless I have to take these smaller ones out underneath, which I think that's my, what I have to do to be able to get the whole piece out. Um, but we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. We'll be back with you. All right, here we are. We're back. I unhooked the electrical. That was pretty simple. You just pull up on that tab right there. They split apart like anything else. Um, I took the size of that. The three that I pulled out, this one and that one, wouldn't fit through. So I had to pull out the three where you see that one's missing right there. Pulled out all three, so... Time to pull out the whole unit. Um, I've never done this before, so I'm gonna pull this out. And voila, there's the, the pieces right here. Man, that's been in there for a while. So next step will be trying to figure out how to get this piece, the interior fan, out and then pulling this off and separating it because they provide everything in the kit minus these two plates so you need these two plates to be able to make up the rest of the motor so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these three bolts remove the end piece so we can pull this all out and then all we'll have to deal with and this is what I've read is in the comments on the product is trying to get that set screw out and then removing this this fan so we're gonna try it Moving that set screw this fan and pulling these two plates apart and we'll see what happens we'll be back so I think I found the issue of why it was whining um, watch this thing spin I don't know if you can see that but it wobbles it's wild I is this thing just worn out? Anyways, um, pulled off the tab on the top, which held the black. Ugh. So this was on there. I just pried it off with two, two screwdrivers. Just put one screwdriver on one side, one screwdriver on the other, reached down in there, popped off the clip, and then this just slid, slides right out. 
So I guess the next portion will be to get these three bolts off here, here, and here to separate the two plates. And I gotta figure out how to get the set screw out along with removing it from that piece. So I'm gonna get to it. All right, so I had a big pain. I couldn't get that set screw out. So what I did, I sprayed it with penetrating oil really well. As you can see, it's still kind of wet, but I let it sit for, I think it was about 10 to 15 minutes. Sprayed it again, let it sit for 10 minutes. And then I took a torch and I just heated up where all the liquid I had sprayed and it finally budged it. I used a small little Allen wrench it fits right down in there. And so, you know, my, my screw was sitting out like this with my Allen wrench and I just beat, beat it with a hammer. But I could not get this thing to budge just by spraying it. I had to use a little bit of heat to get to get that crud broken loose. So I'm hoping now that this thing will slide off, but we're gonna take this Allen, Allen screw all the way out and see what we can do. I'll be back to all you. All right, so remove the screw, the set screw out, and this thing is not budging at all. It just keeps, just keeps being stuck. So what I'm gonna do again is I'm gonna spray down into the shaft. I'm gonna give it five minutes and then I'm gonna heat up the outside there. And what I'm thinking I'll do is try to punch it out. If that still doesn't just slide off, I'm gonna give it one good hit right there. And hopefully that'll punch the, in, the actual motor side out. And um, we'll be good. I'll get back to you. All right, so. I think it was a kind of a pain, I guess, from being in there heated and cooled and just rusted, but the easiest way I could figure out without heating it, I sprayed it really well with some, just some penetrating oil. And since I already have a replacement motor, this shaft that goes through here, I just hit it on the back like this, loosen it out, because it'll punch through, it just won't come off. So you look, now the shaft is pointing out. And I took a little, a little bit of sandpaper and hit that that edge there i'm gonna keep doing that but i think it's gonna come off in a few more hits and some more sandpaper it's gonna slide right off all right so you know how i said i i could hit it from the back side and push out the shaft a little bit as you can see there it's raised well i did that and then i took my dremel with a little sand wheel on it and i got all the way around the lip just like this, I did it only like probably, probably 15 rounds, just like this going slow. And she slides right off now. So voila, so I feel like the hardest part of this whole thing was getting this old piece off of this shaft. So hopefully that helps some people. Um, I would definitely, if you're just buying a new motor, I would just hit this side of the shaft three or four times get the shaft to point out from that collar just a little bit. You can see I just took that Dremel and just went around and took all that, that rust and edge off. And it came right out. All right, well, I'm going to head back inside and hopefully take the rest of this apart and get her put back in. All right, see here we got it inside. I took the three bolts off. But when you take those three off, I just match marked, as you see there, this permanent marker, just match marked the, the frames together. I don't know if that actually matters, but did that just in case. So after that, the bottom splits off at the bottom. And now you're back here to, all I have to do is take off these, those three right here. You don't have to take these out. That's just, you know, that's, sorry, I wasn't even had it on there. These two don't have to come out, but these do. These take out the, the motor from this frame. So I'm going to take this out because I've got a replacement here. So when I come back, I'll have the motor out, this off, and we'll start reassembling everything to put it back together. And as you see here, took the 
three bolts out that disengages the sm three small ones here from the motor plate. So this comes loose. It goes there. And here's your old motor. And this was the thing that was causing me such a horrible noise throughout the house. I don't even know what you would describe that as, but... Alright, so next is just putting everything back together. I'm going to take these gra these uh, isolators out, replace them with the new ones, and then I'll uh, continue putting it back together. Probably not going to show you every step. You've already seen it disassembled, so I'm going to go ahead and start putting everything back together. Um, and I'll be back with you once it's finally assembled. Alright, here she is all back and assembled. Um, did the same thing on this side as the one I took off. You see the it's flat here. Just put the set screw in. That's flat. And, uh, put the new new. Uh, I guess that would be like uh, what's the formal name? It is seal shaft. And then. Uh, this is the inducer fan and clip so that was put on there so everything's together got the new grommets on everything's together so we'll see how she goes i'm going to the last thing that i need to do is put the gasket which is this and that goes on there to seal off you can see the one that was on there is kind of falling off so i got to get the old piece off and stick the new one on so that'll be the last part and then we'll be installing the inducer motor and fan back in there all right and she is back installed oh, all i gotta do left is hook up the electrical but i was gonna show you all i sat this in here after i replaced the fiberglass gasket um Leveled everything out, made sure it was spinning freely, and now I'm giving it one. Because that's the wrong way. should be turning it that way, but she runs a lot smoother than the last one. This uh, stop f top fan, though, is still a little warped like the last one. I don't know if that's just part of the manufacturing of these, but either way, it spins a lot better than the last one. So I'm hoping I don't hear any, hear any noises, but... We're going to hook her back up and start her up. And voila! She's working and there's not that large whining howl. So we're going to let this heat back up and then we'll, we'll see if it does it under load. Give it a few seconds. Alright. Burners are on. Should be turning up to the second speed here soon. Sounds great. No more whining. That's the hangry angler, baby. Here's the final segment of the project. So it's gonna give you an idea. These are all the old parts, but there's the number, part name, and what the parts look like. So the grommets. It's the seal shaft. It's the inducer wheel. comes with the set screw and then that's the motor inducer and that's the carrier number that you can search by but this is called you know this is a jackal <sighs> part number sorry wrong way there you can see it that's the jackal part number and that's the carrier number but that's a wrap another project done um, I got all this from, uh, it's called Shorty's HVAC Supplies, LLC, you can find them on online, and they're helpful, I called.